Uh, good morning, Mr. Secretary. Um, my first question is about the 287G program. As you know, the program grew by 425% during the Trump administration. Uh, it has led to the weaponization of local law enforcement against immigrants and their families. It's done incalculable damage to the public trust that lies at the foundation of public safety. Uh, despite promising to end the program, which has been abused by the likes of Sheriff Arpaio, um, your department has so far kept it intact. So I'm gonna ask the same question that I asked several months ago. Uh, when do you plan to end the program as the president promised? Well, uh, Congressman, um, let me um, uh, share with you the approach uh, that we are taking. Number one, I should say is a, 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 a predicate that a change takes time. Um, number two, it is clear that we need to um, strengthen and improve uh, our relationship with state and local law enforcement to make sure that it is productive in the service uh, of our mission and in adherence with, and this is critical, our principles and values. Uh, I am working um, with Immigration and Customs Enforcement on new enforcement guidelines, and that I think is the first step necessary as we reform our immigration enforcement system. Number two, um, an additional point, and I think uh, you, um, sure are aware of this. If in fact we see the pernicious abuse of a 287G agreement, uh, the mistreatment of individuals in immigration custody, uh, we will act accordingly. And indeed I have done so. And I specifically and respectfully draw your attention to our actions uh, in the state of Massachusetts in keeping with the findings of the attorney general in that state. Uh, what's uh, you're conducting a review? What's what's the timeline for the review? Uh, we will move as swiftly as we can. Uh, we will. Um, um, uh, we, do we have something more concrete than as swiftly as we can? I do. I I do not, uh, Congressman. I do not have a more concrete timeline for you. Uh, a question about TPS. As you know, Mr. Secretary, instability in Central America has driven a mass migration to the U.S.-Mexico border. Central America has been hit hard by several hurricanes. Uh, according to Oxfam, uh, two hurricanes in particular had an impact on 11 million people, causing the evacuation of 800,000. Uh, since environmental disaster is one of the criteria for temporary protected status, are you open to designating Guatemala and redesignating El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua for temporary protected status? We are looking at uh, the country conditions in, in the um, countries that you identified, Congressman Torres. We're studying those country conditions very carefully, and we fully recognize uh, that climate um, uh, disasters are considered uh, uh, a factor in our review. Is there a timeline for that review? We are also moving as swiftly as possible, Congressman. Uh, as, as you know, Mr. Secretary, there's been a surge in, in cyber attacks. Uh, the law department in America's largest city was struck by a cyber attack. So was the Metropolitan Transit Authority, the largest public transit system in the United States. Are, are you aware of each of these attacks? Uh, I, I am. And since local and state governments and public transit systems have no reporting obligation to DHS when it comes to cyber incidents, uh, what, how did you find out about these attacks? When did you find out? Did you find out immediately? Uh, uh, Congressman, um... Uh, we uh, uh, pride ourselves on our partnerships uh, uh, with uh, both uh, public agencies across the nation as well as with the private sector. We are looking at reporting obligations, the current architecture. Uh, they are voluntary. We're determining the pros and cons of making uh, reporting obligations mandatory. I should say uh, obliging uh, them. There are both. And just in the interest, I just want to quickly, Mr. Sir, I just want to, because my time is running out. Uh, do, does DHS have the authority to require reporting of cyber incidents as a condition for receiving DHS grants? Uh, I, I would have to take a look at that precise question uh, as you tie it to grant uh, funding, Congressman. And uh, stipulate for a moment that you did have the authority. Would you be open to extending reporting obligations to state and local governments and public transit systems? that become the target of cyber attacks? Uh, I, I would like to um, analyze that issue uh, uh, better. I, uh, I'm not equipped to answer such a significant question um, extemporaneously. 
I see my time is about to expire, so I, I thank you for your uh, public service. Thank you.